In this lesson, we are going to learn how to debug a Spring Boot application both from local system and also remotely. Here, I have a sample project which is called Spring Boot Debug and it is inside https colon slash slash github dot com slash j2expert 2015 slash Spring Boot Debug. Now, here I have the master branch which has a pretty old version of Spring Boot. If I click in the pom.xml, you can see 1.4.0. So, if you have Java 8, and an old version of Spring Boot you, if you want to use, you can use this. But for most of the people, maybe they're using some newer version of JDK and newer version of Spring Boot. I have created a separate branch. I also have locally JDK 17 installed. So I'm selecting this particular branch. And if I go to this pom.xml, you can see this particular Spring version is used. So I'm going to download this one. Click on code. You can see this particular branch is selected. So I have clicked on code. Click on download zip. Installation is done. Go to the folder, extract it, right click, extract here, just rename this and I'm going to cut it and paste it in a particular directory where I would point my VS code. This is the directory I have placed it. Now go to VS code, click on file, open folder, select the project directory here. This is my Spring Boot debug, just select it, select folder. Now, first let me go through the application a little bit. If I expand the source directory, the Java classes, I have this sample package com.example.hello world. And this is the hello world application class. This line number 9 contains the spring application.run where I am passing this particular class. And this is my controller. This controller basically is a REST controller. It has two methods to display default message, which is the default URL and it returns a string hello world spring boot. And there is another method display default message with parameter where I can pass the parameter. It's by default URL is slash hello. Finally, it would be returning hello world input is then the input that I'm providing. So this is a very simple spring boot application only created for debugging purpose. Let me build this particular project using Maven. I can use this Maven feature over here from VS code. Also, I can use the terminal. Let me use the terminal. Now type maven clean install. Press enter. On the right hand side, it is showing opening Java projects. Let me just expand this. Okay, it's gone. All these pop-ups I don't need. So let me close them. As the maven clean on install is complete, what I want to do, I want to run this particular project and then I want to debug it. In order to run it, if I click on this hello world application, this is my main class. What I can do, I can click over here, run Java. So it's launching the main class. The Spring Boot application is starting up now. Let's wait for a while. Now it has started. Let me go to the browser and here I have to hit the application URL. I'm just using the common URL localhost colon 8080 then slash hello, which means the second method I'm going to use. And I'm passing the input as test Spring Boot. Press enter. So I'm getting the output from the application. Now here, if I go back to the VS code, I can stop this and I can run this in the debug mode also. Let's click over here, debug Java. Again, the application is starting up. It's up again. Let me place a breakpoint somewhere. Maybe as the second method is called, I'm going to place a breakpoint over here and maybe here also. Go to the browser, refresh this. So it's waiting and the VS code icon is blinking and I can see over here the breakpoint is hit. So now we know how to debug a Spring Boot application locally using the VS code. I can close the session. Apart from this way, what we can do, we can use the Spring Boot extension for VS code. If you go to extensions and type Spring Boot, let me drag it a little bit. So here you see multiple extensions. You can use the Spring Boot extension pack, which will actually include all this and click on install. It is getting installed now. So once this Spring Boot extension pack is installed, you can see this particular icon, Spring Boot dashboard. You can click over here and what this dashboard has, as you can see, it has different sections, apps, bins, endpoint mappings, etc. Let's wait for a while it to load. So if we give some time for it to load, what we can see, it is showing the apps here. And if I select, it is giving me the run button, the debug button. So it is showing me the Spring Boot debug application. And from here, I can run and debug. Same way I used to do earlier. So let me try to debug it. Here, what it is doing at the bottom, agent lib, JWT, 
jdwp transport dts etc okay let it be up then i am going to show you the command that it is using so the application is started if i scroll up a little bit you can see over here it is using all the debugging related parameter that is required so if i go back to the browser refresh this page you can see the breakpoint is hit and it is showing the parameter which is passed which is test spring boot so in this way we can debug the spring boot application using this particular extension that is spring boot extension pack also now we are going to see how we can remotely debug a spring boot application so for that i need a remote system i have one let me go there let me check the java version in my remote system okay it's 1.8.0 we may have some problem anyways let me see how it goes i'm going to the url where i have my github project this time i'm not using any other branch i'm just sticking to the master click on code download zip so the project is downloaded right click extract here remove the branch name put it in a particular location okay so this is the location what i'm going to do i have maven installed so i'm going to do a clean build and then run this so let's go to the directory do a maven clean install now maven clean install is complete if i do a dir i can see the target directory over here go inside the target directory type dir again so this is the spring boot hyphen 0.0.1 hyphen snapshot.jar this is what we are going to use so what i can do i can just go to my old directory and i can try to run this particular application in debug mode so here i can run the spring boot application two ways i can use the java hyphen jar command or we can use this maven spring boot run command also there i am passing few arguments the arguments are hyphen x debug hyphen x run jdwp transport equal to dt socket server equal to y suspend equals to n and address is 8001 now this port number is important because this is the port number which i would be using while i would be trying to do the remote debugging from my vs code let me run this particular command over here click on allow access now this hello world application is started let me go back to my host system so here if i want to debug my application let me clear all this out go to explorer so i want to debug this i have some breakpoints over here that is fine i need to go to run and debug and here i need to click on open launch station so this is the configuration which i had for local run but this is not sufficient for remote run what i can do i can add another additional one or get rid of this you can just type attach over here java attach to remote program so without typing the overall configuration if i just use any of this words right attach or something the option would become attach to remote program attach to process let me select this one so here if you see type java name attach to java remote program or whatever request attach hostname port so i have the hostname here let me place that so the hostname is the public ip of the vm that i am using so i have placed it and the port would be 8001 now let me try to debug this application so click over here start debugging now you can see this color is changed right it is changed to orange i can see the call stack but make sure whatever port we are using right the debug port of the remote system which is 8001 and also the application port 8080 those should be open in the remote host otherwise this entire process won't work so let me go back to browser and here i am refreshing this so the breakpoint should be hit and here that is why it is halting now you can see over here the cursor is blinking and if i go to the remote system let me see if there is any output so it is listening at the transport socket dt just click on continue okay continue again finally it is returning something over here and i don't think i have printed anything so it's just showing blank so additionally what i can do i can go back to the vs code and i can change the code a little bit i can just add a sys out and see what happens so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the hot code replace and i want to print something so click over here applying code changes so one change class is reloaded now this is going to be interesting because if i run this particular method 
ideally it should be printing and it should be printing in the remote system anyways go to the browser refresh go to vs code step over fail to stop because got some exception from the virtual machine anyways let's try again attach to remote program change the code little bit one two three hot code replace fine rather than stepping over let me try to come here directly let's see how it goes refresh now it's blinking so this line is done let me go to the remote host so i can see hello remote system hello remote system one two three everything is printed so the debugging is working finally it is writing it into the remote system we just use hot code replacement just to show you yes whatever is happening it is happening in the remote system not my local system so in this way what we have done we have done how to debug a spring boot application in the local system then how to use the spring boot dashboard in vs code and also how to perform a remote debugging using visual studio code so that is all for this lesson we will learn more interesting features in upcoming lessons